。第十三队表演题目是 Smooth Sailing Ahead, Foreign Workers and Culture Exchange。计时开始。
Oh, cool on. But now, things are getting better. Yan Ting is teaching me Chinese, and I am able to do more in Taiwan. He invited me to his home. He even sings with me in Indonesian. It makes the time fly by. I miss you, dear city. Give a big hug to Mama and Papa, your brother, Kurong. These are rough waters, Peng Yong. It's good to have a friend out here. Rough waters indeed, my friend, but deep smooth sailing ahead. Smooth sailing ahead. Naik sampan, sampan di tayo, sampan pula yuhe nalayan. Magic Stroll, Magic Life. What a lovely day. There is nothing better than having a cup of bubble tea now. You are right. Taiwanese bubble tea is the best of the world. Suddenly, here comes a strong wind and blow away the straw. Ah, my straw. Oops. It's blowing through the ocean. Oh no, how could I drink it without a straw? Who are you? But it's too late to pay it back. I know. And the worst of all is that I just made the marine garbage. You did? You should be more careful. I, if I had enough money, I could make a sugar cane straw too instead of the plastic straw. Yes, if you did. I believe these eco-friendly goods are able to reduce the marine garbage, but we don't have enough funds to do so. Oh my goodness, who can help me? Who draw this drop into the ocean? Who are you? Oh, I'm the goddess of ocean. My duty is protecting the ocean and helping people. I just heard someone call me, and then I found the list, the goddess draw. Is this yours? Uh, no, it isn't. Oh. How about this one? Is this your plastic straw? Yes, it is. I didn't mean to throw it into the ocean, but the wind blew it. Goddess, please believe him and forgive him. Mm, what an honest man. Now, you may take this plastic straw back, and this golden straw is yours too. Really? Yes, it's a your reward because of your honesty. Hooray! You can make your dreams come true! I am so glad to help you. Now it's your time to help me, Ocean. I suggest you start your business in Australia because they are concerned about the marine environmental protection so much. I believe they would love to use sugar cane straw. Thank you so much, Goddess. We will do our best. You're welcome. I wish you luck, young man. After this magic encounter, two Taiwanese youth follow the goddess guide and bring their sugar cane straw to Australia. Here we are! It's bloody hot in Australia. Look, there is a bubble tea shop. Let's buy some drinks. Okay. Hi, Matt. What can I help you? Two cups of bubble tea, please. Sure, here you are. Thank you. Hey, Matt, you forgot the straw. No, thanks. I have sugar cane straw. What is that? This is Tony's invention. It is made from plain fiber. It can be digested by the ocean. You mean... We don't need to worry about how to deal with it after using? Yes, it's an eco-friendly good. It can prevent our ocean from being polluted. Wow, what a magic straw. I'm willing to use it here. Thank you. After all, there is the only one Earth. We should take our duty to make this world better. That's right. Magic straw, magic life. Thank you. The Floor Library, Books from Home. Good morning, this is TBC News. Now, we're at Taipei Railway Station. 
on Sundays, this place is somewhat exotic. As you can see, the lobby is crowded with immigrant workers who came here to get together with their fellow countrymen. They sit on the floor, chatting and laughing, enjoying their little reunion time. Recently, we've noticed something new. The floor library. It's a normal library founded by a senior high school student, Vic. Hi, Vic. Hi. I see all the books here are written in Southeast Asian languages. That's impressive. What inspired you to collect them? Actually, my mom is from Vietnam. I'm a so-called new Taiwanese. When I was little... Vic, time to go to bed. Let's read this story together. But I have read this one. I want new stories and more. Sweetheart, this is the only one that I have. I can find others here. Maybe I'll bring more books for you. But you have to wait until I go back to Vietnam someday, okay? Mom, don't worry. I will do this for you. When I grow up, I will build a library full of books written in Vietnamese. Goodbye. I believe you will. So, was it difficult to find books in your language when you were little? Yeah, even now, it is still hard to find books written in Southeast Asian languages in Taiwan. Then, you must have spent a large sum of money collecting them, right? Not at all. Instead, I launched the campaign, Bring a Book Home. We call for those traveling to Southeast Asia countries to bring a book back with them when returning to Taiwan. This is how the Florida Library was established. I heard some of the readers find this place having a life-changing influence on them. That's true. Let me tell you a story of Annie, who's a caretaker from the Philippines and comes here every week. Is a list the translation? Why do you take me here? Let's take a walk here, Grandpa. See, so many people here. This place is lively. What's this? Books from home? Wow, there are books in Indonesia, Burmese, and Filipino. We can borrow them back home and return next week. It's good to read. It's good to read. You should read more. Why don't you borrow one and tell me about it? Of course, I'd love to. In my hometown, I used to read a lot. But after I came to work here, I could hardly find books in my language. Now I can enjoy reading again. It's nice of you, Grandpa. Thank you. It means once upon a time. After reading those books, I was inspired. And now I want to write my own story. Your story? Good idea. What is it about? Haha, -ha, it's a secret. Secret? I know her. She wrote a story about the friendship between her and her grandpa. And she even won a literary award for immigrant, didn't she? That's right. Now I'm proud to present our special guest, Annie. Congratulations! So, what does the floor library mean to you? Thanks to this campaign, I was given the chance to continue reading. And you know what? To share what she spread, she even forms a reading group and invites her friends here twice a month. The train station serves as a living room where we can feel at home. As for me, I'm so grateful to those book carriers who are willing to join us. And there's one. Hey, buddy, you're back. Yes, I just came back from the Philippines, and I remember to bring, bring a book, book home. From the Philippines, one more book to read. This is not only a book, but means the connection with my hometown. With such kindness, I feel I'm closer to this piece of land. Wow, this campaign touches so many people, whether they are Taiwanese or immigrants. Reading does change people's lives, 
enrich their minds, and free them from restrictions. Reading gives me freedom. Reading is human right. Reading connects the world. Thank you. The sixteen team is Light Up the Sparkling Generation. Hey, Serena, look! Oh, the girl over there is so pretty! Yes, oh, I can't believe it! She's so oh, oh, yeah. Hi there, nice to meet you. I'm Delaney. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss India. Hi. How do you know that? Oh, my friend Serena is really fascinated by the Indian culture. And Miss India is her idol. Yes, Miss India. I have been following you on Instagram. And I'm much impressed by what you have done for those in need. Thank you. I'm so happy to hear that. Are you here for sightseeing? No. We're invited to promote tourism in Taiwan to India because of the new softball policy. Oh, I see. That's the very policy our government is focusing on. Taiwan is a perfect place for vacation. And it is said that no trip to Taiwan is complete without visiting the Salmon Lake. You can say that again. And it is even listed among top 100 green destinations because the circulation of water in Salmon Lake generates electricity. Cool. cool. In fact, the Danny and I are both interested in filming industry, especially in Bollywood. Yes, what beautiful music, charming dance, and thought-provoking plots. Some of the movies are really impressive. For example, Three Idiots, English, Vinglish, and Dango. In this case, want to experience the real India? Sure, I'd love, love to. to. Why not join the New South Home Policy Project? funding for Taiwanese students' internships in emerging markets. It aims to foster more young, bu uh, young business talents with actual work experience. Two sums went up. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, 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 let's go to India. Go, 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 let's go to India. Here we are. Let me show you around. Wow, so many cars. Hey, look at that one. How special! Where was it met? Here in India. Oh, really? Don't you know India is good at making vehicles? No, I have no idea. To build the economy, our government embarked on a project, Made in India. This Tatanano is not only small, but also cheap. Better yet, it's eco-friendly and greener than most cars. Actually, our government is now launching an initiative Stand up India! Stand up India! Its objective is to transform India into a country of job creators instead of job seekers. Wow! What a coincidence! It sounds like the new Southbound policy our country is promoting. Indeed, living a global village, we are all in the same boat. United we stand, divided we fall. So we can work together to enhance bilateral development of trade. Yes, we can work together to foster social stability and harmony. And we can work together to boost better understanding and respect of cultural diversity. I can't agree with you more. Well, I have an idea. We can work on a child care project. Why children? To be honest, there are many children and even whole families living on the street because of poverty. These poor children are often seen beaten and sexually abused. What's worse, they fall prey to drug peddlers and child traffickers. Uh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Hey, as John Kennedy said, children are the world's most valuable resources and its best hope for the future. Thus, we must make sure to take care of them with maximum effort. Absolutely. Absolutely. Then we can set up foundation to provide food, shelter, health care, and basic education for these children. And, and we can practice campaigns on social media, mm. offering any volunteer with opportunities to bring smiles to children's faces and a chance to experience the local cultures. By doing so, we can definitely raise the awareness of the public on children's future. That's fantastic! Here, Here we, we go! go.
第十七队，表演题目是 Green e r Life Change for Battery， 计时开始。Taiwan has been making impressive strides in developing eco-friendly industries. Among them, smart scooters powered by battery are attracting worldwide attention. Karen is a young marketing manager from Taiwan. Now she arrives in Jakarta and wants to promote green transportation to Indonesia. At this moment, she is going to have a meeting with Mr. Widodo, the head of the transportation department. Rejected by Mr. Widodo, Karen accidentally overheard the following conversation between an angry boss and a complaining part-time. Together, we can make the best of it. 
Yes, in Indonesia, we have lots of nickel, the material for making lead batteries. Yes, if possible, we can set up some factories here, employ local workers. What about the industry cooperation and innovation for our promising youth? We can recruit youth in this project. Youth of Taiwan and Indonesia can build a closer relationship and gain working experience overseas. Let's create a better and better life together. The eighth is Start from our root. Oh, just wait a minute! Anand, do you hear me? Why not put on your smartphone? Hurry up! I have something else to do. I need to go on minutes. Now I'm quickly. Stop talking to me like that! I cannot bear it anymore! Stop speaking your language! What do you mean by your language? Does my language distress you? Are you sure so heavy a mother like me? No, 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 no. I didn't mean it. It's just... Actually, some classmates laughed at me for my skin color my accent, and even my weird appetite for Vietnamese foods. Well, it's really tough for you to get used to it. But believe me, it's just a matter of time. All you have to know is to appreciate your own root and to recognize identity. I can't get it. It sounds confusing. You'll learn it someday. Hey, Anand. Why are you so depressed? Anything wrong? Well, nothing. Hey, what's your plan for this weekend? Is there something about voluntary work? Yes, we'll go to a nursing home to clean our surroundings. Come, join us. By the way, there are many foreign caregivers coming from South Asia. Sometimes I cannot communicate with them. And if my memory serves me well, Anand, your mom also comes from Vietnam, right? Yes, so? Then, of course you're bilingual. To speak Vietnamese. No, I can't. I can't speak that kind of language. I even don't want anyone else to know my Vietnamese mother. Hey, how come you talk about your mother this way? It sounds terrible. You are not Anna we used to know. I wouldn't like to, Neeler, but people stare at me, stare at my mom differently. Differently? Yes, differently. They take a mean attitude to people from South Asia. New immigrants from Thailand, Indonesia, or Vietnam are despised. Even Vietnamese was are teased. But it's not fair for us. We have treated you the same all the way. And what do you mean by the foods from Vietnam are teased? I do like the spring rolls, especially by your mother. It's your sense of inferiority that makes you feel worse than others. Those who don't understand me or gossip about my mom, my mom's home country, and my parents' marriage. They believe my mom was bought by my dad. It's called mercenary marriage. Do not blame yourself because others' ignorance. Having a Vietnamese mother is your personal advantage. Oh, now you know that in the nursing home, many migrant workers come to Taiwan, facing differences in language, culture, and living style. Come help us with those problems by using your mom's language. Besides, last year, the One Country, One Center project was launched by Taiwan's medical and health industries to expand their cooperation with South and South Asian countries, including Vietnam. The project hope to see win-win outcomes and prosperity. Anand, you have been interested in design mobile application. Why not apply your technical skills to medical knowledge? You mean the latest news about medical diplomacy? Wow, I heard about it as well. Let's get started. Medicine, education, technology, we call it M-I-T, okay? Okay. Wow, we've done lots of jobs today. I do feel proud of myself. Helping others feels great. Yes, those foreign caregivers' mouths once more prove that I'm doing the right thing. And Anna, your Vietnamese helps a lot. Nice job. Well, I just show a little I learned from my mom. And your introduction of smartphone app also comes in handy. The app not only benefits the new immigrants directly, but it also promotes someone's image. Win-win, right? Hi, Alan. Is that your mom? Mom? What are you doing here? I'm here doing my part, helping those who have trouble getting used to new environments. 
Like what I did before. Auntie, you really something. Auntie, you know that? Anan has the same dream as you. Today, he's the best interpreter. He also communicates with those friends who give us in Vietnamese. You do, Anan? But yesterday, you were complaining about speaking my language. Anan, I'm just supposed to say something to your mom. Mom, sorry and thank you. Sorry for my bad attitude and thank you for giving me a bilingual family. Your hometown is also mine. You and I share the same roots. So, Anan, you know the origin of my name. I come from Vietnam and met your dad here in Thailand. We named you Anan to send for serendipity between your dad and I. Wow, how romantic! Yes, guys, let's solve our root Taiwan to spread our love, our concern, and our knowledge. Yes, start from our roots. Thank, Thank you. you. A new southbound trip to the future. 计时开始。Hello, everyone. I'm Kathy. Last year, I quit my job in Taiwan and decided to work in Vietnam. Now I have been working there for one year. Time passed so quickly. Tomorrow, I will go back to Taiwan. I miss my family and friends so much. Hi! Hi, Ben and Veronica! Hi, Hi Rita. Rita! How are you? Do you guys want to apply an internship job with me during the summer vacation? I plan to work in America during the summer vacation! Hi. Sorry, Rita, but both of us already have other plans. Oh, really? What are your plans? For me, I will have a local internship in Indonesia. And I'll go to Thailand as an international volunteer. Indonesia and Thailand? Are you sure you guys want to go to those places and don't want to work in America? Well, my mom is from Indonesia, so I can speak some Indonesian, some Mazian, and also I'm acquainted with Indonesian culture. Maybe after I graduate, I can get a great job there. A great job in those backward countries? I don't believe that. And you, you said you want to be a volunteer teacher in Thailand? Yes, it will be a meaningful experience. I can not only learn their culture, but also make a lot of friends. Rita, you have too many misunderstandings of Southeast Asian countries. Actually, the table has turned. They are no longer undeveloped countries. Are you kidding me? I have been to Bali Island two times. Two years ago, I also visited Taj Mahal in India. What's more, I also went to Angkor Wat in Cambodia and took many beautiful pictures. I know those places very well. All right, then let me ask you some questions. As we know, there are many museums in Southeast Asian countries, right? Yes, aren't they terrorists? See, misunderstandings. Not all Muslims are terrorists. This is a very serious misunderstanding. In fact, most Muslims are good people. They work hard and show their respect to their God regularly. Really? Yes, they have to show their respect to their God by saying some prayers. Since there are many Muslims working in Taiwan, so we even see some Muslim prayer room in chess station and MRT station. Oh, I see. Maybe I can share my working experience in India with you. At first, I was afraid of stepping out of my comfort zone and was worried about the language barrier and culture differences. But after I get along with the people there for a month, I found that it's not as difficult as we thought to dig into a new culture. How did you make it? I introduced some of our Taiwan food and famous places to them. They are quite interested. And they're also interested in our rapid mass transportation and convenience stores. But it's still... Maybe I can ask my sister Kathy to share her working experience in Vietnam with you. Kathy! Kathy! Hi, Ben! Hi, Hi Kathy! Kathy. Nice, nice to meet you. you! Nice to meet you, too! Kathy, can you share your working experience in Vietnam? Of course! I think the most appealing part of working is that the working opportunities are growing there. 
I can't understand why aren't they undeveloped countries? Actually, their economic growth rate has been higher than any other country in the world. Their economic growth rate is higher than China this year. That's why I can't get the higher income. In the world, it's a golden opportunity for young people like us. Us? Wow, sounds really good. Maybe I really have too many misunderstandings of sassy Asian countries. That's, That's right. right. I want to keep up the trend and seize the working opportunities there. But I can't be Vietnamese. Yes, language helps me a lot when I'm working there. In fact, at first I couldn't speak any Vietnamese. But through the language training help our company and the interaction with the local people, now I can speak fluent Vietnamese, like Xin Zhao. Xin Zhao? What should I do? I can't wait to learn the languages of Southeast Asia. Can I learn them in Taiwan? Yes, as far as I know, you can learn those languages in our school as elective courses. And you can also learn them in a foreign language center after you enter college. I have a dream to work abroad. And now, I want to try to work in Southeast Asian countries. Just go ahead and seek your dream there. Southeast Asian countries will be your good choices. Hooray! New Southbound Policy, sell to the new future. Thank you. The second question is Passion from Compassion. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to introduce Dr. Anthony, who received a seven-year medical education in Taiwan and plays a key role in the medical development of Palau. Today, we would like to share his doctor training experience. Let's enjoy the video, and I learn Dr. Anko. Clinic in the rural area and train many medical staff to help the local people. 
And at this time, the team came to visit Anthony with her team. Long time no see. How's everything going? Everything is getting much better now. Palau is a humid country, so people there often get sick. With the assistance from Taiwan, we have new medicine to heal them. We also dedicate 10% our foundation to increasing the hygienic quality here. Sounds amazing! You have really made a difference. Can you show us more details? Sure, my assistant will show it for you. Thank you. Due to low poor hygienic quality and lack of clean water, local residents used to have skin and stomach problems. However, thanks to Taiwan's help of promoting medical knowledge, it reduces the occurrence of diseases. Even if people are infected, they can get the rapid treatment. How wonderful! For the last few years, Taiwan has trained over 70 medical staff from South Pacific Islands. We deeply believe the new Southbound policy can not only help the cooperation between Taiwan and its partner countries, but also strengthen the relationship with them. But what we watch in the film, the power of Taiwanese medical treatments is strong enough to offer assistance to other countries. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Dr. Anthony. Thank you. My training in Taiwan was a very tough process. I stayed as an intern at different departments of the whole medical system. Without the NSP, I couldn't have the chance to experience the advanced techniques, let alone helping the sick in my country. The story shows us how to get passion from compassion. Therefore, we try to follow better. We offer for a need. It means for the future. So, Taiwan can help. Thank, Thank you. you. The second performance theme is Moving with the Tides of Taiwan. Let's Superstitious peasant, 
This is an old disease. Get with the present, not an old that would please. Yeah, hip hop, Jane. I didn't know you can rap. All the boys need to collaborate. This is great. Can you guys tell me more? I'll show you some passive hip hop. Metaphysics, we capture and torture evil spirits with celestial messengers, higher temple god protectors. Wow, I didn't know that. When their face is painted, they open up their souls as transcendent spirits merge to occupy their being. Then they must not talk. Is it true that you're forbidden to eat meat, smoke, drink, and remain abstinent from the pleasures of the flesh? Yep. I love the stoicism. Each general has a different thing. And I Autumn General, and this is the Phoenix. And, and I'm the Winter Tiger. My job is to threaten evil spirits, and Autumn's job is, is to clobber them. I'm really starting to like this now. Come on, Jay. Coming. It's Asia Pacific Sea, tell us Nice. Spreading hip hop lines via NSP Baja Jam number is so thrilling. It's a great idea. Yeah, new and stoic, East meets West. That's my idea. South Link in Five, 计时开始。Howard has just moved to Taiwan, and today is his first day at school here. Hey, why are you so late? Sleep uh, over? Um, because it's time to take me for a dog. The schedule here. What do you mean? So, where are you from? I'm from New Delhi, India. Really? Then what brings you here? Uh, because of the new industry oriented eco opportunity project. My father and I decided to move here and we hope we can work here after we graduate. Sounds great, but if, if, it, if it were me, I probably do nothing. I have been to language learning center, so I'm not worried about language barrier. It's lunch time. Today's menu is steak. That high song. It's why you don't like it. What's wrong? Because I believe in Hinduism. We record cattle scary. Mm, there must be a lot of vegetation in diet. Mm, not really. Actually, there are many inter Indian styles restaurant on street and on the other side. I'm not mind to try local dishes here. Great. Then, 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 then let's. 
we can go to the Taiwanese specialist today after school. Three years pass. Howard successfully graduated and entered a nice company. Morning, guys. Morning. How's everything? Everything's fine. I learned a skill since I in the school. Don't hesitate to ask if you have any problem. By the way. I just bought a bubble tea on the way. Wow. You want some? Thanks. I very like it. Um, hi, it's my first day here. I'm Sonia. Uh, you look really like my old friend, Hometown. May I help you now? Hey, it's me, Howard. I used to live near your place. <gasps> oh my gosh! Um, How was your work? Well, I was on content Taiwan. I reconciled for foreigners. After I sent out my resume, the, man the manager contacted me winning that. Thanks to South Park Park policy. Let's then then recent trip between Taiwan and India. I never, I never know I can see you as here. Few years later. Few years later, Sonia come back to India and work and work for a Taiwan and work for a Taiwan company. decide to take my daughter to India culture events this weekend. NSP Golden Opportunities for Economic and Cultural Exchange. Hey, look at here. Brian, do you remember our trip to Thailand from a few months ago? Yeah, of course. This poster provides an introduction of Thailand, right? Studying in Thailand has been my dream country of as long as I can remember. Oh, I agree with you. I really want to study there. Hey, don't you know about New South Bond policy? I know about it, but isn't it only about South Asia trade? Come on, the policy involves so much more than that. The policy was created three years ago. In addition to fostering relationships for global exchange and economic cooperation, it also provides opportunities for individuals to study abroad, with the government subsidizing nearly 300000 per year. Oh, it sounds like a great opportunity. I want to buy up my parents. Oh, wow. Look at Cross. I lost two people from Thailand. 
Yeah, I think so. Maybe we can introduce ourselves and make a connection. Hi, my name is Brian. I'm Zoe. Hi, I'm Sean. This is Sandy. Nice to meet you. Are you guys from Thailand? Yes. Sawadika. Right, Chinese student this year. Mm, we have some questions about studying in Thailand. Can you guys offer us some advice? If Thailand is where you want to be, it's very easy to get there. Thailand is known for its affordable cost of living and its tasty, healthy local cuisine. Wow, that's wonderful to hear. That definitely helps to my mind is. Oh, by the way, I saw a lot of people are growing. Is this common in Taiwan? Um, we have a moon festival holiday this week. Most Taiwanese families celebrate by having barbecue, get together with family and friends. Brian and I are going to a moon festival barbecue tonight. Do you guys want to join? Mm. Yeah, sure, we'd love to come. That's great. So we will meet at Central Park at 6. Okay, see you later. Bye. Bye. I prepared a fast moon festival fair. Here we have our meat, vegetable, and seafood. We also have fruit, pineapple. It's Taiwan's tradition. Hmm, it sounds great. This is something I would never see in Thailand. <laughs> you can give it a try. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm late. Oh, are you serious? Why did you bring so much food? Shopping. I, I hope everyone is hungry. So, the two of you are interested in studying in Thailand. I'm guessing you were already there before, right? Yeah, we have so many wonderful memories of our trip to Thailand. Oh, how did you do there? We just went there for tourism. Ever since late trip, I have really attracted to Thailand. With the new South Bank policy, Thailand could be a great option for me to go abroad for study. But you know you are not good at speaking Thai and not be adapt to the new environment. Come on, the new softball policy has this covered as well. Under the NSB policy, special classes for industry university collaboration have been established, as well as technology training course for foreign youth. They also encourage universities to strengthen the cultivations of softball link and regional trade talent. I can sign up for a course to learn Thai language in a way that is meaningful to me. Actually, Thailand is not that difficult to learn. I think you will pick up in no time. Oh really? All these talks makes me want to sign up for the cross right now. Thank you. 